Hello, in this video we will discuss one question from this year's prelims paper. This is a part of a 100 video series which will cover the entire paper. Please like, share and subscribe and visit our website themcqbank.com. So let's get started. The question is, with reference to ocean mean temperature, which of the following statements is are correct? And the statements are, OMT is measured up to a depth of 26 degree centigrade isotherm, which is 129 meters in the southwestern Indian Ocean during January-March. OMT collected during January-March can be used in assessing whether the amount of rainfall in monsoon will be less or more than a certain long-term mean. And the answer is B2 only. The statement 1 is wrong, as the mean 26 degree centigrade isotherm depth in the southwestern Indian Ocean is 59 meters. Statement 2 is correct as the OMT collected during January-March can be used in assessing the amount of rainfall during monsoon. Let us discuss what is ocean mean temperature, what is this 26 degree centigrade isotherm and what are the other methods of predicting the amount of monsoon rainfall. But before that, let's understand what is an isotherm. It is a line on a map joining points which have the same temperature at a given time or on average over a given period. To state it simply, isotherms are lines of equal temperature on Earth. Like you can see on this map of daytime mean temperature, in January, the 20 degree centigrade isotherm runs almost over the Tropic of Cancer. By July, the 20 degree line moves northwards. Similarly, we have isotherm lines over oceans too. What is ocean mean temperature? It is an important climatic parameter required for atmospheric and oceanic studies like cyclone and monsoon predictions and ocean heat transport estimations. OMT is analyzed by measuring the ocean thermal energy during the January-March period up to the depth of 26 degree centigrade isotherm. It can better predict Indian summer monsoon than the sea surface temperature. What is sea surface temperature? It is the temperature up to few millimeters of the top layer of the ocean. Apart from measuring other atmospheric and oceanic phenomena, it is used for predicting the amount of rainfall during the monsoon. Like Earth's land surface, sea surface temperatures are warmer near the equator and colder near the poles. Scientists measure SST to study the following weather patterns, plant and animal life in the ocean, some oceanic currents which flow at the surface, warm ocean waters which help form clouds, availability of tiny ocean plants called phytoplankton. Why ocean mean temperature can better predict Indian summer monsoon rainfall than the sea surface temperature? According to a statistical study conducted in 2018, the success rate of OMT in predicting above or below average summer monsoon is 80% while the success rate of SST is just 60%. Why is it so? Because SST is affected by atmospheric parameters such as winds, evaporation and clouds or radiation and is more variable than OMT. OMT variations are more stable and consistent than the short-range SST variations and thus OMT better correlates with the Indian summer monsoon rainfall. SST does not reflect the thermal energy available in the upper ocean while the OMT measures the thermal energy up to a depth. What is 26 degree centigrade isotherm? As you know, warm water is always at the surface of the ocean while the cold water sinks to the bottom of the ocean floor. 26 degree centigrade isotherm indicates the depth at which the water is at 26 degree centigrade temperature. This depth varies with the change in the temperature and is denoted by the term D26. The range of depth up to which this isotherm is found is between 50 to 100 meters. Mean depth in the southwestern Indian Ocean during January March is 59 meters. Why we compute OMT at 26 degree? Why not at 20 or 30 degree? Because this particular isotherm gives most accurate prediction of the summer monsoon rainfall in India. The depth of this isotherm varies depending upon the atmospheric factors. So we can best study the atmospheric and climatic phenomena by observing the D26 or the depth of this isotherm. Why January-March data is used to predict ISMR? January-March is a transition period between the winter and the southwest monsoon seasons. In this transition period, the winds and currents in the tropical Indian Ocean change their patterns. Therefore, the data from these months have a better predictive value. 
So this was the solution and the explanation of the question related to ocean mean temperature. We also discussed various aspects of the question from the perspective of prelims. If you feel this video helped you, please share with others too.